Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Be With Me. We are sitting on the shores of Lake Michigan with Pastor Newt Larson. And Newt, I want to talk to you this morning about something that has that you're known for, which is minute spots. Tell me what they are and tell the people historically what they were when you were in Akron, Ohio. It's just because I like to talk short. Anything else? So what is a minute spot? <laughs> It's talking. I did. I did start it in 1966 uh, in the first pastorate, and it was called a moment with a pastor. <laughs> and you can get people's attention in a minute or 30 seconds. Well, people do it all the time on commercials. You bought that product yesterday at the store because you saw something for a minute. And also, you can you can show a mood. You mean to tell me you started this in Ashland, Ohio, on radio? Yes. So, Mike, I've been around a long <laughs> time. Wow. So this started in 1966 on well, the radio. Correct. And what was the, what was the idea behind it? Was it really a minute? It's exactly a minute. I can talk a minute and and win a bet with you if you like. So how but, did it go to video then? Well, when we moved to Akron, uh, some wonderful men. They happened to be men who were really good at that area, said, why don't we do those things on the TV? Grant Erickson had been the head of communications and a bunch of things at Goodyear, was retiring uh, soon, and, you know, I'm just so grateful. Wow. Because what they see on TV sometimes, or now on Facebook and other places, is somebody pleading with them to give money or trust Christ instead of somebody... They'd listen to for a minute. <laughs> so, would you describe this as a side door to the church? I've heard that phrase used before. Absolutely. Side door means it's not Sunday morning, and they might think, and I, we took some surveys. Some people, because you didn't get pushy and because you're, you seem like an okay person, forgive me for complimenting myself, but that was a strategy we are not going to push people they're going to do what they want anyway so it was to try to be a friend to people and invite them to consider the lord so t talk about the general concept about using media or side door ministries to uh, be a attractional is there such a, is there such a thing in in christendom well we're all we're really called a media generation and of course now it's uh, Facebook, and I, I can't even name them all. There's so many ways. And, uh, there are many a attractive ways to get toward people, many channels to touch young people to mm -hmm. think again. Don't go that way, but especially you're talking in good ways about who Jesus Christ is. I mean, he made the worlds. So hello. He, he conquered the grave. We ought to be able to talk about him with a normal voice and a kind spirit you spoke about uh young people and reaching young people do you think that the 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 radio spots that you did in ashland and the minute spots video spots that you did in akron that they particularly addressed that demographic no i don't think there was anything age about it um it's just it's what I tell people now as friends or when I coach pastors. Don't be so churchy. Don't be so... You sound mean when you talk about Jesus. Mm. This, we're talking about something very good. I, I know we're talking about sin, too. But that's not the first thing you say to somebody. And we, Look at creation. Look at what we see sitting here. The Lord who made this invites us to love him and to obey him. So... How can you get something, we're looking at creation, which is a, a fingerprint of God. How can that be communicated in 59 seconds, either audibly or visually, uh, in a way? What could you hope to accomplish in that period of time? To make them want to think about it more. To make them want to visit mm. the church and see what goes on there. To make them want to think, you know, my life is pretty shallow. I don't ever think about the two big things of God, Mike, creation and salvation. And in some schools, you're not allowed to talk about either of them. That's crazy. Yeah. 
and and in some people never talk about it at home. That's crazy. Look what he's done. Look who he is. We ought to we ought, we ought to be able to talk about him with delight. <laughs> Do you think there's a greater need uh, today with media and cell phones and and cable TVs and just m- media and screens? Do you think that this is more important today because of that? Yes. Yes, I hesitate because there's so many messages out there and it's harder today in some ways. It's especially important that Christians have a little nerve and a little love and say something or ask questions and don't just, you know, if you see a new baby, don't just say, my, he looks just like his mother or his father. But what a gift from God. At least build bridges in, in racial relations. At least say hello. At least say it's great to be children of God and see where if it goes anywhere. But yeah, we can all make a difference in our neighborhoods and where we live. This sounds like you're trying to uh, put your efforts towards being a winsome witness. Respond to that. You just better listen to me, Mike, or I'm not talking to you anymore. You know, I, I, I grew up watching a few preachers on television we're talking the civil war (laughs) they they scared me my our daughter once said of a man on tv that i was watching a little bit who's he mad at and she was like five years old or seven or more i we all have we all represent christ no question the man in the pulpit does a little more than others a lot more than others sometimes but Boy, we all got to have a mood of grace and love. God, yeah. God is, when God first described himself, Exodus 34, yeah. it wasn't mean. He's loving and wanting to forgive. Yeah, steadfast. So would you say that all of us are responsible for those first few seconds? Is there, is there an application here that you did them on video for a, a city or a, uh, a town, and we do it in front of our postman and from from the amazon lady that's a good way to say it i i think we all a little bit here a little bit there nobody there aren't many people who somebody talks to them about jesus and corners them and gets them for 30 minutes it's mostly oh man i've seen that in my neighbor or i saw that i heard that on the radio or somebody helped me that way i'm going to look into this that's what we hope Well, I thank you for being here today. I thank you for thinking like this. I thank you for talking like this. I thank you for videoing uh, like this, and especially just for being like this, for being a winsome witness. Ladies and gentlemen, thank, thank, uh, join me in thanking Newt Larson as we say goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow.